Praise God indeed. Let's give the Lord Paul another clap of praise. And before po we go to the Word, pwede na po nating uh, imbitahan ang ating mga uh, children na samahan po sila sa bandang likod uh, for their small Sunday school po from age 12 and below. So, once again po, welcome! And sabihin po ninyo sa inyong katabi, Happy New Year! Kompleto pa ba ang inyong mga kamay? Ayan. Ika nga po eh, when all has been said and done, Eh, one thing still remains. It is the enduring word of God. When all po, when the, all the food has been eaten, when the, all the fireworks has already, you know, lighted, been lighted up, one thing remains. It's the word of God. Brothers and sisters, na realize ko po, happy ko. Lord, 2015, and give it a year. It's going to be 2016, then 2017. And when come, when one comes to think of it, wow, 2000. Since Christ came, more than 2,000 years has already gone by. And I wonder, sabi ko, Lord, how many people on earth have lived during those times and until now? Just come to think of it. Parang sa, you know, when, when, we, when we reflect our, our place on earth, parang napakaliit natin tingnan. Parang napakaliit natin in comparison with the universe, in comparison with all the people, people who ever lived on earth. But one thing po ang nakakatuwa, for all those who come to Christ, He gives them the right to become children of God. And this is, you know, it, it transcends cultural boundaries, geographical boundaries, kung ano ng lahi or, or pananalita ng isang tao, kung ano trip ng isang tao sa buhay, ang isang tao kung ano ng Kristo has become a child of God. And we have today the privilege po na umpisahan ng bagong taon ng pasasalamat sa Kanya. Amen? Sino po rito would say to the Lord God, You know, it's, it has been rough 2014. There has been opportunities as well as problems. You know, po nawawala yan. But nevertheless, you have been faithful. And praise God po, nandito po tayo ngayon because we want to thank Him, right? We want to thank Him for His guidance. We want to thank Him for His faithfulness. We want to thank Him for His provision. We want to thank Him for His continuous patience for us. And yun lang po, in His character is enough to worship and give Him time. So ngayon po, bago po tayo mag, uh, go to the Word, it's all pray, Lord. We bow down our hearts, not just our heads, but also our hearts and our souls. And we focus our eyes on You. We thank You for this opportunity, Panginoon, to take a break sa lahat po ng aming pinagkakabalaan sa buhay. And just focus on You. To give You thanks, Lord, and to be reminded, Lord, of Your goodness and faithfulness. To be reminded of Your enduring and eternal Word that does not change. Lord, years will come and go. The Bible says, your word says that man is like the grass of the fields. Lord, it comes and it goes like the wind as well. Nevertheless, Lord, you take us into consideration and you hear our every prayer. You value each person, each individual, Lord. Whatever the situation is, you value and hear our prayers. And that alone, Lord, uh, gives you the honor to be worshipped from in on. So Lord, right now, uh, help us understand your word and uh, open our minds and our hearts as we listen, Lord. May today, the, the mere fact that we are here to, to listen to you be an act of worship for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray this. Amen and amen. 2015 po, I'm sure many of us po ay may mga pinipipray sa buhay, hindi ko ba? Many of us po may pinipipray for what lies in 2015. Maybe uh, we're praying for something uh, healing or physically related. Or maybe some are praying for something emotionally related. Or maybe related regarding finances. Or maybe related regarding our relationships. Or maybe related regarding our uh, spiritual walk with the Lord. We pray for a lot of things, isn't it? And hindi lang po to every day, but most importantly ngayon 2015. At uh, when you think of it, sometimes... We cannot help as human beings question or you know sometimes we think na Lord what about what about the future what about next week or what about next month if there is one fear that is universal it is the fear of the unknown sino po rito ang uh, masasabi in all honesty sa atin na we are fearful of things to come pag hindi natin siya alam kasi po dati alam kung paano yung stock market If, if rise and fall. What if 
world events tumaas yung price ng crudo tapos you know our funds are not enough to sustain our daily living we all have fears in life we fear to be alone we fear to be lonely we fear death we fear financial instability we fear many things and that is just normal that is why last time po i would like to continue in this uh, line of thought na pinag-usapan po natin we studied last time when things do not go our way we have learned in scripture that God has always been and will always be with His children, right? Sa lahat po ng aspeto ng buhay, sa lahat po ng uh, seasons of life, we have learned that He has promised to hear and answer our prayers and guide us through all circumstances. We have learned that. We have learned na when we pray and we ask God for deliverance sa situations natin, ngayon, especially ngayon 2015, may pinipipray tayo, He has promised to be with us and hold our hands and never to leave us nor forsake us. We have learned that through scripture. The words of Christ himself says that in the Bible. Now as we continue this line of thought, I would like to share with you uh, a simple topic called Answered Prayers. I was thinking of a title na parang, you know, highfalutin title but hindi naman po kailangan eh. Ang importante po yung magiging message po ngayon. And come to think of it, sabi ko, okay, Kung lahat po tayo may pinag-prepray sa 2015, whether it's opportunities, whether it's problems po to go away, shoo, di ba? Shoo. Nevertheless, ang question po doon, pag nagdalasal po ba tayo, how do we know that our prayers are being answered? What are the things that we can know and we can take into consideration na kapag ang isang tao nagdalasal, we can be certain that God hears your prayers and mine. Come to think of it po, iba yung nakikinig, iba yung napapakinggan sa nakikinig, hindi ba? I can, you can hear me speak, but it is also different that you are listening to what I'm saying. It is also different when we, you answer me. So we're going to talk about not just prayers in particular, but answered prayers. Na kapag tayo po may pinagdadasal, how do we know what are the things to be considered that God is answering our prayers in the affirmative? For example, Lord, I pray for deliverance in my financial or physical or emotional uh, problems in life. And He says, yes, I will deliver you. For example, when we pray an exam and then pumasa tayo, then He answers that. And that's an answered prayer. That's what I'm talking about. So that's what we're going to learn today. What are the things we can consider when it comes to praying to God? Before that, let's go to something first. Sa Bible po, may pinag, may pinag, uh, meron po tayong madidiscover na tinatawag na unconditional truths. Ito po yung when it comes to the person and nature of God, does not change. Hindi po nagbabago whether you and I are nagbabago. Some of these unconditional truths are God is faithful even if we are not. God is faithful in our business, in our work, in our family, even if we don't read the Bible sometimes, even if we don't pray, even if we don't go to church sometimes, He remains faithful. Because that's His character. Another is, God will not lie to us. And He can never die. That's also unconditional. He will not tempt us with evil. Kapag tayo po yung tempt, that is not God tempting us. It is the sin in us. Remember that verse, right? It's the sin in us that entices us. We talked about that last time. And the unconditional truth is God is all-powerful. He is all-knowing. And He is present everywhere. Whether maguna ang mundo this year, next year, 10 years, it doesn't change the fact that God is that. And that is just some of the things, the unconditional truths na makikita in sa Bible. God is also compassionate. God is also just. God is also righteous. God is also merciful, whether we are not. He remains the same. Those are unconditional truths in the Bible. Now we're gonna also look, there are also things that they call the conditional truths. Right? Ito po yung mga bagay na like salvation. For example, ang isang tao po, bago mapatawad sa kasalanan, comes to faith in Christ, that person must choose to believe in Jesus, right? Amen. That person must choose to say, Lord, I repent of my sins, I cannot save myself, turn away from sins, place their faith in Christ, then that person becomes saved from sins, becomes forgiven. It is conditional. 
We have a part to play, we have a choice. So, meron pong conditional truth na tinatawag na sanctification. It means becoming like Jesus. When a person comes to Christ, we are on the process of becoming more like Him. How is that conditional? It requires our participation. Ang isang tao po, bago maging katulad even more like Christ, He commands us to obey. For example, we become more like Christ if we show more forgiveness. We become more like Christ if we become more kind or generous or loving. Those are conditional. Why? Because it requires our choice. It requires our participation. Hindi naman po tayo magiging uh, ma mapagbigay o magpatawad. Nang hindi tayo nag-decide na magbigay o mag 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 magbigay o maging magpatawad. Hindi ko ba? Kaya nga po may joke na, Lord, help me to be kind and patient. I want to be more like you. Napakapasensyoso niyo. Pag make me like you. You know, you'll be surprised papadalang ka ng Diyos ng mga taong mahirap maging pasensyoso towards you. Right? So that we would exercise our patience and become more like Christ. That's how it works, isn't it? But is it, it, it is still conditional. The sanctification process to become more like Christ is conditional. Being saved, placing one's faith in Jesus, be, being transformed into His likeness is conditional. And other, and other things as well. Ang isa po is also answered prayers. You'll be surprised that answers to our prayers are also conditional. So I'm gonna give some five things that we can consider to help us understand how does God answer our prayers? What are the basis, basics? It's not all, but some of it as well. Next slide, please. 